Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we're going to learn about the XLOOKUP function, which is new in Excel 2019, and it's a powerful replacement for the VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP functions. Normally, my Tech Help videos are based on an email that I might receive from a specific user. However, this one is different. I've literally gotten asked this by a dozen people in the last week or two. I've been hearing a lot about the new XLOOKUP function that Microsoft added to Excel 2019. Can you teach us how to use it? Of course, I love XLOOKUP. It's a great new function. It's much more powerful than VLOOKUP. And VLOOKUP used to be one of my favorite functions. But now XLOOKUP takes all the shortcomings and gets rid of them. What is it? Well, XLOOKUP lets you look up a value in a list. So you can set up your own list of options, and then in your main spreadsheet, you can look up those values, like an employee ID will look up their name, for example, and I'll show you how to use it in just a minute. Now, if you're already familiar with VLOOKUP, these are the ways that XLOOKUP is better. You can look up to the left or the right. With VLOOKUP, you can only look up to the right. And this is important because sometimes you have a existing list that you don't want to modify just so that it works with VLOOKUP. You can return multiple results. It can bring back two, three, four columns, however much you want. VLOOKUP only worked with one column, and that's important when we do double lookups. XLOOKUP replaces both VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, so you can do horizontal or vertical lookups. You can do reversed searches, so look from last to first instead of first to last. VLOOKUP starts at the beginning of the list and just goes down. XLOOKUP can go backwards. XLOOKUP defaults to an exact match, so it'll find the exact value. There is also the optional for the approximate match. XLOOKUP supports wildcards, which is great because you can have a part of a string to look for. You can specify a value if it's not found in the list, so you can put in there not found or whatever instead of getting an error. You can return entire columns or rows, and XLOOKUP works with arrays. So how does all this cool stuff work? Well, let's say you're doing timesheets and you've got a list of employees and how many hours they worked. You want to look up what their pay rate is so you can calculate how much to pay them. So let's say you've got the date here and you've got the employee and you've got the hours worked. All right, let's resize these just a little bit here. All right, I like to add a little splash of color. It makes my spreadsheet a little happier. Okay, so you got four one, Joe worked four hours. 4 1 Sue worked eight hours. 4 1 Bill worked 10 hours. All right, next day. 4 2 Joe worked six hours. 4 2 Sue was off and Bill worked 12 hours. All right, and then 4 4 Sue came in and worked 16 hours. Okay, so you got your basic timesheet here. I personally like the left justify everything. That's just me. Okay, so over in this column, I want to look up their pay rate. Now, where am I going to get their pay rate from? Well, I'm going to make another little chart over here. It doesn't matter where. You can put it anywhere you want. All right, the employee and their pay rate. All right, this will be a separate little, kind of like a little table in here. It's not really a table. I hate to use the word table because that's an actual thing, but it's a little mini sheet over here. This could be on a different sheet, by the way. If you want to come down here and throw it on sheet two, that's fine. XLOOKUP works across multiple sheets, even across multiple workbooks. But today we're just going to keep it simple for class. So put your list of employees here. We got Joe, we got Sue, and we got Bill. What's their pay rates? Joe makes $12 an hour, Sue makes $15 an hour, Bill makes $18 an hour. Add a little formatting just to separate this as a different table, All right? Well, section, I should I should call it. All right, maybe make these currencies. All right, now how do I get this over here? Well, that's where the XLOOKUP function comes into play. So this is going to be equals XLOOKUP, open parenthesis, lookup value. What value do you want to look up? I want to look up the employee's name, Joe. Comma. The lookup array. Where is the list of stuff that you're looking up? Well, I'm looking up Joe in this list right here. All right, comma. The return array. Where is the list of items that you want to return? Well, that's right here. Then you can enter a value if not found, a match mode, search mode, all that stuff. We're just gonna leave it like that. Those are optional, that's, they're in brackets. That means they're optional, we don't need them. So close the parentheses and then press enter. And look at that. 
it brought back a 12. It took Joe, went over here, looked it up, and then brought back the return value, which is in the return array, which is 12, and put it right there. That's how XLOOKUP works. Now, if you're really new to Excel and you've never used a function before, like sum or average, I've got another tutorial that explains how that works, and I'll put a link in the description below. So now I want to autofill this for the rest of my list, but I got to make one more little change first. Remember, absolute and relative references. Again, I've got a lesson explaining that. Look in the description below, but you have to change these values here to absolute references if you want to autofill this down. So click on it and hit F4 like that. F4, F4, F4. That changes these to absolute references. That means that this box is never going to change. Otherwise, when I autofill this down, it's going to change. It's going to update this function. So just put those dollar signs in there like I show you right here press enter. Now I can autofill this down and I get all the correct values. See that? Joe is 12, Joe is 12, Sue is 15, Bill is 18. Now I can calculate the total pay, right? Which is going to be equals hours times pay rate. Enter. And there we go. And that is the beauty of XLOOKUP. Not that hard to set up, took me just a couple minutes. There's lots more I can do too. If you want to learn more about XLOOKUP, I spent about an hour covering it in my Excel Expert 11 class. I'll show you a bunch of different examples on how to use XLOOKUP. We'll do an example similar to what we just did where we have a weekday using the weekday function and then we'll pull back the actual name like that. I'll show you wildcard lookups where you can type in a portion of the name up here and it'll pull back their ID. We'll do student letter grades. We'll use an, what's called an approximate search, where you type in something that's kind of in the list, like between two values, and it brings back the right information. For example, an 85 here isn't in the list, but XLOOKUP knows that that's a B. Then we'll do a double lookup. Here, for example, we have a list of clothing types and sizes, and you want to bring back the price. So you can come over here, and you can type in jacket, and then it brings back jacket small. It looks it up over here, jacket small, $15. That's a double lookup or a two-way lookup. Then I'll show you an approximate search with a double lookup and we'll put a combo box on here so you can pick math from a list there. Type in the grade, 68, and that student got a D. So that's just some of the stuff covered in Excel Expert 11. Now, if you're new to Excel and you need even more basic training, I have a lesson on functions available. There's a link. Teach you things like sum. If you're not sure about those absolute references, those things with the dollar signs, I've got a lesson for that. And if you want to go old school, or if you have an older version of Excel, older than 2019, you can use the VLOOKUP function, which isn't quite as powerful as XLOOKUP, but it still gets the job done. There's a lesson on that as well. And I'll put links to all these in the description below the video. So thank you. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. While you're here, be sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure you ring the bell. Click on the little bell there and click all to get a notification by email every time I post a new lesson. Make sure you visit my Excel forum. I've got a very active forum on my website where users can post questions and answers. If you need help, I've got a tech help page available where I can help you with your spreadsheets. You can always contact me directly by email. There's my email address. Here's all the fun stuff, blog, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all that. All right, here comes the shameless advertising portion of the lesson. Watch my free Excel level one video. If you're new to Excel, right there's the link. And when you're done with level one, if you want to purchase level two, it's just $1. And those are complete hour plus long lessons. Thanks again for watching. I hope you learned something and we'll see you again soon.